everybody, welcome to Amanda Land. In today's episode, as you probably already know, I'm going to share my experience of the time I actually got to meet Madonna. The greatest day of my life, well, let me tell you. So, let's, let's get right to it. And yes, I know I'm not wearing a Madonna shirt. I'm wearing a Game of Thrones shirt because Game of Thrones is awesome. If you like Game of Thrones, comment down below what house you're a part of. I'm House Targaryen, just saying. All right, so let's get on to the exciting story of when I met Madonna. Okay, so my story begins in 2003, November, in November, early December. I remember getting to work and I logged into my Yahoo email and I got an email from Star 98.7. For some reason, I was on their email list. And if I remember correctly, it said, Would you, are you a Madonna fan? Would you like to meet Madonna? I'm like, I'm, I'm a Madonna fan. Yeah, 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 I would like to meet Madonna. Uh, and then the next thing I said, I had to respond to that email or send an email stating in one sentence why I should meet Madonna. I'm like, oh my God. I'm racking my brain trying to think of, okay, I got to think of something totally unique that makes them want to pick me. And yeah, it's got to be perfect. Racking my brain, brain, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to send the email. I'm just going to send something. So I typed up, I think I wrote, um, the chance to meet Madonna would be a chance of a lifetime to meet my icon in person or and thank her for everything. It was something short, sweet, to the point, like, you know, this is a chance of a lifetime. Please pick me. So, hit send, didn't think anything of it. Uh, a couple of days later, I got an email saying, congratulations, you're going to meet Madonna in LA at the Borders Bookstore. I could not believe it. I, I just sat there like, for a good 10 minutes, I think, people walk by my desk and look look over at me. I'm like, and then I think like late, I it didn't really set in what just happened until I got the phone call from Star 80.7 um, telling me that yes, I did win. Yes, I'm going to meet Madonna and an email will follow with all my instructions. I kid you not, I told everybody and their mother I was going to meet Madonna. I was skipping down the road going, I'm gonna meet Madonna gonna meet Madonna. I'd be at work, answer the phone. Hi, thank you for calling me blah, blah, blah. My name's Amanda, I'm gonna meet Madonna. I'm not even kidding. I would tell everybody, guy on the street, you know, hey, yo, I'm gonna meet Madonna. I, I, I could die happy at that point. I was, whew. Anyway, so the day came, I think it was December 3rd. Let me check. Just kidding, it was December 9th. Yes, this is, you know, my dream day and I forgot it. December 9th, 2003 was when Madonna would be at Borders Bookstore in LA. i thankful and lucky that one of my subscribers sent me a bunch of pictures uh, of the outside of the Borders because for some reason when I was there I didn't think to take pictures of the building. Um, but yeah, here's some pictures of the outside of the bookstore. I'm going to insert throughout when we're talking about the uh, inside. Um, yeah, when I got there... I had my camera, I remember I had my camera, but the security guard at the door said, you can't have, you can't bring in a camera. We won't let you in if you have your camera. So I ran back to my car and, you know, dropped my camera off. But it would have been nice to have a cell phone there, you know, to you know, snap some pictures. Um, but anyway, okay, so the day comes, what, what is it, December 9th, 2003? Okay, so I took my fiance. I asked him to go with me because A, I didn't want to go alone. B, I wanted him with me because I wanted him to experience it. He's not a big Madonna fan, but I knew he would go there to support me and, you know, yeah. So we get there. I get there early. Couldn't, um, like I said, couldn't bring in a camera. So, God, so long ago. I don't remember. It was all a blur. <laughs> uh, I'm a horrible storyteller. Let's just get to the point. Okay. Waited in line. I was like one of the first, not one of the first. I think I was one of back 50. I wasn't that far from the beginning of the line. I remember having to go to the bathroom a lot. When I get nervous, fun fact, Amanda has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so Rob had to hold my line, uh, uh, place in line a lot. Anyway, yes, waited and waited and waited. I remember I had my 
Icon magazine with me because I wanted her to, I thought maybe she could sign something. I didn't know the rules. It didn't really say or specify not to bring anything for Madonna to sign. Uh, but yeah, I remember we, it was a two story. We, when we got upstairs, we saw Madonna across the room. The, you know, crowd goes wild, obviously, and... Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait! wait. Everybody just calm down! She was crossing the room, I think, to do the reading of Mr. Peabody's apples. And then she went to this other area for the meet and greet. And the meet and greet was, like, behind this whole tent thing. She, it was, like, a corner of Borders Bookstore, like, tented off, and it had, like, this whole drapery and, like, a throne and all this stuff for her. And so when we got up to the point where we we're going to meet her, I almost died. Like, my heart just fell to my toes. I couldn't believe right behind that curtain was Madonna, and I was actually going to meet her. Like, talk to her. What the hell am I going to say? I thought I was going to get up there and go, Hi, I like you. But I had to compose myself. I was so super, I'm so super excited trying to share this with you guys that I can't even formulate into words. So let's go. It's finally my turn. The security guard told me I had to leave my Icon magazine in this little basket. I could not bring it in there. I'm like, okay, fine. Uh, I forgot to tell, show one thing. We got little um, wristbands. Yeah, I saved, I saved those. So, the curtain pulls back. There's Madonna sitting there in her on her throne and I started sh shaking I'm like okay hold it together I almost started crying but I didn't want my first meeting in Madonna to either be me being dopey and not saying anything or me crying like a you know blithering idiot so I'm like <sighs> and I walked up to her and she shook she, she didn't shake my hand at first she's like hi and she said hi to me and I ha said hi back I'm like hi Madonna I'm a like, huge fan I can't believe I'm meeting you um I think I said something about how I've been a fan ever since I heard Borderline. She, you know, being very polite and sweet and just, you know, looking at me. And then uh, my fiance, he's really super tall. And I remember she looked at him and went, oh, you're, you're tall. <coughs> or she said something like that. I don't know exactly what she said because it's all a blur. So then she, she, you know, started looking back at me and I, again, don't remember exactly what I said. I, I could have said, I'm your biggest fan. And then I think I told her about, oh, I wanted to show her my tattoo. And I remember that was like the main thing. And I said, oh, oh, yes. I asked her if I could shake her hand. And she said yes, and I shook her hand. Her hands are super soft. Let me just tell you, Madonna's hands like like smooth butter. They're, and they're small, really small. I mean, I don't have ginormous hands, but her hands are small. And so I shook her hand. And then I told her that I had a tattoo of her eyes on my ankle. And she's like, oh, I want to see. So I'll show you guys. Here's a good chance to show you my tattoo. I've been wearing socks all day, so that's what those markings are. But there's my tattoo. Pretty cool. And at the time I met her, my cat scratched like right over an eye. So it had a nice little scratch mark. So yeah, I wasn't too happy about that. I go, I remember going, oh, I'm sorry, my, my cat scratched scratched your eye. I'm really sorry. And she's, she went, oh, a cat scratched my eye. Or she said something like that. And then she called somebody, one of her entourage, over to have them look at my tattoo. And she said it was really cool. And I asked, I remember asking her in your next concert, could you please, 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 please uh, play Borderline, perform Borderline. And you know what? She did. Yeah, not her next tour, because her next tour was reinvention, obviously, because she did not perform Borderline, but she did perform it at Sticky Sweet, and I like to think I had something to do with that, so you're welcome. All right, so after meeting Madonna, they kind of escorted me away. I'm like, hi. Hi, Madonna. Hi. Just kidding. I wasn't, I wasn't that big of a nerd. You know, I said goodbye and thanked her for everything that she did and will continue to do, and yeah. I I still can't believe that I, I was lucky enough to meet Madonna and I never thought that would happen to me. And yeah, the moment the moment she I it's funny when she was looking at my tattoo and you know she was not gushing over it, but she was she was impressed or she was pretending to be impressed, which made me feel 
uh, pretty awesome, and then we had this connection. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep. Obviously, we didn't. Anyway, so afterwards, um, uh, I got escorted off the sideline, you know, yanked, you know, come on, ma'am, leave Madonna alone, you, you need to leave. They took me off to the side, and I got my copy of her book. I think I had to pay for it. I'm pretty sure I had to pay for it, but I don't care. I don't remember. All I know is that I have a legitimately, legitimate signed by Madonna right there. Copy of her children's book. So there you have it, folks. I had a dream. I never gave up on hope on the fact that I would meet Madonna. So that means you out there too have the potential and the possibility of maybe, maybe one day you will get to meet Madonna as I did. And I hope, I hope Madonna would do another meet and greet somewhere, sometime, so some of her other fans can experience the excitement, the joy of either shaking her hand, telling her face to face, looking at her in, in the eye and thanking her for all that she's done. Um, I kind of would hope that maybe, who knows, Madonna would see maybe one of my videos, let her know, thank you for all that you've done and continue to do. The world is a better place because of you. Thank you. Okay, so that is my story about meeting Madonna. It's kind of, it was kind of rushed, but I wanted to get a video posted for you guys. If you have any questions or comments or concerns about my, my storytelling, leave a comment down below. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. But before you go, let's, you know, go over some of the new images Madonna has, some new images Madonna has released since my last video. Here's this one. She looks fantastic in her glasses and her, I guess it's a leather jacket. I don't know where she, she looks like she's outside of her house. We're going to go with that. She was outside of her house. And then in the studio, posing, doing the sound mixing, I really wish she would release Madame X. I mean, it was pretty good as, you know, somebody with a camcorder could have recorded and released it and her fans would have been happy. Anyway, these images were taken, I'm assuming, at the studio. Uh, just posing, having a good time, eating some Sour Patch Kids. Um, again, more images with her and her guitar. Uh, staying hydrated. Talking through her Crocs. And then here's a little bit more with her beret and a clean and sanitized sign and wine glass. So yeah, you know, from all the sources I get for news, Madonna is still working on her Madame X release. I don't know if it's going to be on Netflix or Hulu or HBO Max or however she's going to release it. I'm going to assume it's going to be on one of those and then she'll release it like iTunes digital download. Maybe we'll get a physical copy of it. Who knows? You think she would want to make a lot of money off of this, so she'll release it in multiple formats. As soon as I know, you'll know, or you'll know before me because I only post a video every other week. So there's that. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for liking and thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like button, share with a friend, and stay tuned for more videos. Bye! You can't sing when your guitar's out of tune And when your nails are long And you don't know what to say <laughs> Thank you, you've been a great crowd.